Mark, so good to see you. Welcome to Philly, man. Thanks, Brett. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, congrats on this project. Fathers 2 absolutely love the movie. Just congrats on everything. I know how important it is to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I watched it again last night with my wife. Uh, this movie is just so special and inspiring. Um, what, what drew you to this movie and made you say, I need to tell this story to the world? Well, I was just so inspired by Stu's journey, um, you know, for him to uh, have looked every corner of the earth, it seemed, to find his calling and finally find it in serving God. And then uh, what he was able to do in the short amount of time that he served as a priest was really remarkable. And I'm assuming since, like, watching your performance and just how sincere and honest it was, you would have to draw, like, some real-life experiences and adversity adversity. Mm -hmm. uh, was it hard for you to be that vulnerable on screen and kind of open up wounds of yours, you know, or no. is it just for the greater good of the story? I always, I, I always, I mean, I've never had any formal training as an actor, so I only have my real life experience to draw from, you know, the good, the bad, and everything in between. And uh, a lot of times that lends itself to being a lot more credible a performance because of the authenticity, you know. Um, but that being said, with this, you know, it was uh, it was just a wide range of emotion, and we shot the movie in 30 days, which is not a long time. But uh, you know, I think it was it was better for it because we just kind of got in it, we lived it for the entire time, and uh, you know, it was a special experience. And it just consumed you, I'm sure, for those 30 days. And you know, we've seen you in so many roles over the years, and each role asked something different from you. Uh, watching this movie from my perspective, that's got to be more one of the more demanding roles to prepare for. I mean. Father Stu had such an incredible life, extraordinary, from mm. boxing to singing, you know, he's becoming a priest, of course, his unfortunate illness. Was this a demanding role for you to, to get ready for? I mean, you saw your body transformation on, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it was, but it was, it was also fun. I mean, I love the fact when I have lots to do to prepare, mm. because I want to be so prepared that on the day, I could just forget about all that. You throw all that out the window, you know, you get the part, you become the part, and then, you know, with no great effort, you play the part. Mm -hmm. So on the day, I want to be ready. I don't need to look at the script. I don't need any of that stuff. I mean, you know, I was between the physical, the spiritual, and the mental preparation. I, uh, I had quite a bit of time, thankfully, with the material to, uh, to prepare. And like I said on Instagram, I follow you. I, uh, you really helped me out through the pandemic, staying on my fitness game. Oh, cool, inspired cool. me better. I, nice. I'm part of the 3 a.m. club. Oh, nice. I got my weight vest, my body weight workouts. Awesome. But we saw you gain 30 pounds. What was it, like in two weeks? No, no, it was uh, over the course of the six-week shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was so like, man, how was that even we possible? We did the boxing <laughs> stuff on day one, Yeah. and that night we started eating. And that was actually, that that night was the only enjoyable meal, because I hadn't really <laughs> eaten much. We were, we were training for the boxing stuff, trying to get as lean as possible. And then, you know, we had the barbecue grill outside the trailer, and we started throwing the porterhouse steaks and the baked potatoes, and it was amazing. But then three hours later, I got a knock on the door, and I was supposed to eat another meal of the same size, and it just became unbearable. Yeah, how many calories a day? is that? It was 7,000 a day for the first two weeks, and then it was 11,000 a day for the last four weeks. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> Before I let you go, I know how well you portrayed Father Stu in this movie. Uh, if there's ever a, a day where they're telling the story of Mark Wahlberg, is there a young actor that you could see play you? Uh, I don't know if he wants to be an actor, but I know he'd be uh, really good for the part in my son, Brendan. It would make sense. Yeah, he, uh, he's more like me than he wants to admit. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, uh, always a pleasure. Congrats on this film. It's super special. Thank I can't you, wait bro. for uh, people here in Philadelphia I, to see it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.